Today is Struffoli Day. We are making Struffoli. Who doesn't love Struffoli? Perfect for the festive seasons. Let's make it together. This is how I make my struffoli. Now, we need a mixer, or you can use your gorgeous hands. We need to use 230 grams of plain flour, which is about eight ounces of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of sugar, two eggs. Then we need two tablespoons of limoncello and I'm using my nonna limoncello you guys know how amazing this limoncello is because it's the most popular limoncello recipe online and you can click up here or in the description to get the recipe two tablespoons of peanut oil peanut oil takes this struffoli to the next level it's nice when you actually fry the struffoli in peanut oil. That's the best way, in my opinion. Then we want to grate, uh, we want to get a zest of the lemon and the orange. Both of them, they love each other, you know, so put them together. And last but not least, a pinch of salt. I'm using limoncello for this recipe and I'm very tempted to drink some. <laughs> to make struffoli, I'm using a mixer, but you can use your hands, which is probably more fun, but this will make it quicker, very quick. And what we need to do, we need to add about 200 grams of plain flour, which is about one, one third of a cup. All right, we start the struffoli recipe by getting a mixer and we add about 200 grams of plain flour, which is a 1.1 third cup of a cup. Then we add two tablespoons of white sugar. Then we want to add two beautiful organic eggs. I am using large eggs here, uh, but you can also use extra large if you want. Then we want to uh, use the orange zest orange and lemon zest i'm using about half orange and half lemon this this will give the nice flavor to the dough and then i like to get a nice organic lemon and put the lemon zest inside lemon honestly can take any dish to the next level and now we need to add two tablespoons of homemade limoncello. And if you know my nonna's limoncello recipe, uh -huh, you know what homemade means. Then we need to use two tablespoons of peanut oil. Peanut oil for me is the perfect one for this recipe. And last but not least, a pinch of salt. Ah, these beautiful ingredients together. Oh, the kitchen huh, will smell divine. You don't need any perfumes. This is what you need. Now we put this uh, mixer utensil on top and we start mixing. See, it doesn't take long to mix our ingredient. See, we already have the dough done in less than two minutes. So if you see that your um, mix is a bit too sticky, and this one it is a little bit sticky, what we do, we just um, add a little bit of flour at a time, you know, not too much, just um, a little bit. And we keep mixing and we see if it becomes more dense. Now we finish mixing, we want to take the dough out and then we want to mix the dough with the hands. So, yeah, it looks like a nice, a nice, nice dough. Look at that, beautiful, moist dough. And now is the moment that we want to uh, use the hands 
to mix this wonderful struffoli dough. I can see, I can see the orange, I can see the lemons. You need a little bit of flour to be able to mix the dough. It's like when you make pasta now, you know? Just see how moist it is. Can you see how moist it is? Look. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dough. Don't use too much flour, just um, enough. You don't want the dough to be sticky, basically. Honestly, this dough, it just came out perfect today. All right, now, it is important that we rest the dough for at least half an hour, simply because we need the gluten to be created in this dough. We need the gluten to be able to make the struffoli. Oh, beautiful. It came out very, very, very moist. And now it's the time where we need to get the gluten in the dough. So you need to rest this baby. Look how beautiful this dough is. Nice, soft. So you want to rest it for about half an hour and make sure it's nice and covered. Oh uh, yeah, perfect. See you soon. Did you know that add struffoli? Oh, with honey, candied fruit, yum. Struffoli are from the south part of Italy, from the region of Campania, Basilicata, Calabria, Abruzzo, Puglia, maybe Sicily too. But now it's popular all over Italy and around the world. Struffoli from the south of Italy are very different from family to family. There is no good and bad. All the struffoli recipes are good. But I'm very proud of this and I do believe it's one of the best ones that you can get. After half an hour, we open a dough and it should look fantastic. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful, moist. And now it's time for us to stretch the dough with a nice rolling pin. Oh, look at that. Look how beautiful it's stretching because of the gluten. You know, we created the gluten. See that? See that? See that? Fantastic. And it's not sticky. We don't want to have this too thin, you know? This is probably good the way it is uh, because what we need to do now, we need to cut little pieces and make the little snakes. So, I cut a piece and it's like if I make gnocchi. That's what I do, see? So you start from the middle to, and go towards the edges. And look how cute this looks. Mm, a little snake. Now I cut another piece. Not too much. See the gluten inside? Look at that. Perfect. And we roll, we make more snakes. You don't have to stretch, um, stretch the dough with a rolling pin, uh, but it's an easier method for me in order to make the perfect little snakes. Now guys, what you do, see, you put all those little snakes together and then we separate them. So we got some on this side, some on this side, and it is very important that we cut them small. The smaller you cut, the better they cook. If you make them too big, this is my advice, if you make them too big, there is a risk they don't cook properly. So I like this size. Easier to eat, easier to cook, and cuter. In my opinion, it's best if we cook the struffoli in peanut oil. The taste of peanut oil, I think it's much better. It's like when you fry cannoli. Peanut oil takes the cannoli to the next level. And we want to bring the oil to a temperature of um, 180 Celsius. And then we put them in individually, one at a time. Struffoli normally cooks in less than one minute. And again, it depends on the size that you make. 
Like I said before, I like to make this roux fully small, so they cook faster and they cook well. Remember before I told you guys, make them small because they grow. And look how much they're growing. They were very small and look how big they are now. They are ready when they become brown. So the temperature of the oil must be 180. Uh, and now guys, they are cooked. We can, we can take them out. They're nice and cooked. You put them on a plate with a uh, paper towel. All right, now it's the time when husband and wife have to do the job together. Suzanne, we do it together? Ooh! Huh? <laughs> okay. Put one at a time. Be careful not to burn yourself. Ooh, Suzanne, be gentle. Uh, thank you, Suzanne, for cooking. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you for frying them. Now I'm going to show you what to do with the truffoli so they can dance into Christmas. Get a fry pan, a good size, so all the truffoli we fit inside. And we put about 150 grams of honey. Beautiful, oh look at that. Beautiful, beautiful honey. Yes, yes, love that sound. We also need to add a spoon of sugar. Yes, and mix. Mix, mix, mix. Now, the moment we've been waiting for, we put the struffoli inside. Ah, uh, Suzanne, it's happening, it's happening. <laughs> and we mix, mix very well together. Look at that. Golden, sexy, and the smell fantastic. Oh my God, that smells really good. Now, we need to add more flavors. So, we had the lemon from before, so we uh, just want to put some lemon zest. Ah, oh, yes, this will give us what I want to bring the flavors out. Now it's time for the orange. Orange zest. Oh, ooh. <laughs> Make sure you keep mixing. You want the lemon and the orange zest to go everywhere. At this point, I can switch off the pan because it's nice and warm. Now it's time for the candied fruit. We got orange and lemon glaze. So the pan is off. We put them everywhere. I also like to add some sprinkles. You know, it's a festive season, you need some color. I look at that. Beautiful colors. You put some first, and then you put some after when it's truthfully get cold. And now you mix. Mix all the flavors together. Yes. Oh, where are you going? Go back in. Mm. Yum. You know what, Suzanne? This is the moment where I say, you know, I'm proud to be Italian. This is such a beautiful Italian creation. So wonderful. And we should be very proud, you know? Of course. What plate do you want, Suzanne? White plate, round green plate. Green plate for Christmas. Green plate for Christmas. And here I have the green plate for you, oh. darling. Green plate for you. Who got you that? Ooh, <laughs> Ooh the smell is really good. Now, presentation wise, what we do, we want to create a, a little mountain made out of struffoli. Hey, Suzanne. Struffoli mountain. Struffoli. Mount struffoli. I like that. Mount struffoli. You're so smart, Suzanne. <laughs> That's why I married you. <laughs> for that. Yeah, and the mountain should be a mountain shape, you know? So what do we do? The reason why we do the mountain is so that people can start eating it from the top and go all the way to the bottom. So the base is being created. Now we add more on top. Oh my God. I mean, you can eat them warm too if you want. Not the same flavor. No, I mean, not the same uh, texture, but <laughs> they're pretty good when they're warm. Yeah. And this is how we top off the mountain. That's the top of the mountain. Here it is for you. 
yes. Put some more lemon zest. Sprinkle this. Sprinkle? Sprinkle the sprinkle. <laughs> and here are the truffoli for you, ladies and gentlemen. Merry Christmas to everyone. Happy holidays to everyone. This is the time that you have been waiting for. The time to eat it. It's still warm, still warm, but can I say one thing? I can't wait. So, I have to eat it. Mmm. Crunchier than before. It's getting harder inside too, just the way it should be. Mm. And the honey. Mmm. Yum. Merry Christmas, guys. This is gonna be a fantastic Christmas. Thank you for watching this episode. We will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate. <laughs> because of the light. Say it. Well, mount. And the mountain. Looks fantastic, right? Beautiful. And the smell. Oh, oh God. Oh, God.